Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some exclusive Xbox One footage of Battlefield 4 single player. And this footage here alone should tell you that the game is going to look great on the Xbox One. The hardware can definitely handle this game and it looks just amazing. I think there was very little difference graphically between the console and PC versions of the single player game. So that right off the bat is a great sign that this game is just going to flourish on the next gen consoles. Now obviously just by watching this footage you are going to get a glimpse of the single player and if you haven't played it yet you are going to essentially see levels that you would not be aware of otherwise. I'm not going to give away any of the plot though in this game. You'll see events like the dam exploding uh, and some of the action you'll be able to try and piece together stuff but for the most part I'm not going to give away anything about the general plot and why we're fighting China and what's actually going on. Now you may be able to tell that consoles are not necessarily my system of choice based on my accuracy here. I'm not quite as proficient on console as I am on PC but I used to be a pretty decent console player back in the days of Halo and I can say that the uh, new Xbox One controller performs admirably in the new game. There isn't anything really too new about it you know uh, the size has changed a little bit some of the trigger stuff trigger response you know might be a little bit different from what you're used to on the old console but for the most part if you've been playing Xbox 360 and you upgrade to the Xbox one the controller should feel right at home now as for the single player campaign it was actually pretty decent for a battlefield game battlefield has never really been about single player first over multiplayer it started out as a multiplayer game and uh, as it progressed through the generation single player started to work its way into the battlefield franchise and the battlefield 4 single player is actually pretty decent um, if you consider that it is a multiplayer game first. Now comparing the Battlefield 3 single player to the Battlefield 4 single player I can say without a doubt Battlefield 4 is better, way better. No longer do we have those quick time events which were kind of the bane of the BF3 single player where you would uh, enter into a melee fight with somebody in sort of a scripted sequence and you would have to hit spacebar at the right time and then hit left click and then E. Just these weird little mini games within a shooter and if you weren't ready for it, you know, you would die and then you would be set back a significant portion and have to replay the whole scene over again. And that was just really annoying to have in a shooter and I'm glad that they didn't make it into the Battlefield 4 single player. Visually speaking, the single player looks just stunning. If this were a movie, I would be complimenting it for having such great set design. As you move throughout the single player, you don't really feel a lot of recycled elements. Sure, if you're a really, uh, big battlefield veteran you might notice some buildings making it over between single player and multiplayer but at no point during single player do you feel like you're kind of just running through standard rooms or corridors everything is finely crafted and just visually stunning the whole time through I mean this hangar here you only go through this hangar once and then you're done with it you move on to a new area and uh, it just feels like everything has been uniquely made the days of recycled doors and corridors are gone the only part of the game that might feel a little bit repetitive is maybe on the aircraft carriers because aircraft carriers by nature are a little bit repetitive and uh, a little bit claustrophobic I definitely prefer these bigger outdoor fight scenes they also make great use of the weather effects in the new frostbite engine this scene here we're gonna have a tank that's just crushing these cars and basically clearing a way for the infantry to follow behind it. Meanwhile, there's a massive storm going on. You can see all the dust and debris getting blown one direction. The palm trees in the background are just getting hammered by a storm. And as you get close to the coast, you're going to see waves crashing up on it. And uh, it's hard to hear if you're wearing a nice pair of headphones. The immersion effect is just really intense. Now what's nice about the spotting effect in single player and especially for players who aren't quite so good on console like myself is that once you spot the enemies your squad mates will actually go after them and attack them and if you have a tank in your squad at the time or perhaps a transport helicopter they will go after those enemies as well and it was really fun spotting things and watching my tank just blow away the cover of those enemies so it just really offers you a lot of options if you want to kill everybody yourself and you feel like you're doing pretty well and your aim is on par and you just like getting the kills yourself then you don't have to spot the enemies and if you're having a little trouble like I was then you can definitely spot the baddies and let your squad mates back you up it's just sort of an extra element of uh, difficulty um, options within the game once you're playing so you can set it on easy or medium or hard and then from there you can also choose to take advantage of your squad mates or not 
Story-wise, they took a different approach in the single player as opposed to Battlefield 3 in that you don't really have a good understanding of what's happening in the start of the game. You're a squad and you're getting sent on these missions to try and figure things out and try and discover what's going on. And like any sort of real war, I imagine there's a lot of chaos and confusion during missions uh, and that sort of thing. And since this war sort of breaks out spontaneously, everybody's a little confused at first. So as you play through the single player, you figure out what's going on based on your missions. You don't necessarily get a good overarching view of how the war is going. It's just more focused on your squad, the relationships you have with your squad members and the new people you meet and the missions that you go on. And I actually really like this approach to the single player. You don't have to worry about overall tactics or big aspects of what's going on. You focus on your mission at hand and sort of figure things out as they come along. Now generally speaking, I'm not huge into single player games. I need something that's a little bit more sandbox oriented for me to get interested in it. I like single players that give me 50 different ways to approach a mission and then I get to sort of pick my own way. And Battlefield single player is definitely linear. The, the level design is very linear. It's got beautiful visuals and very cool scripted events, but at the same time you really do feel like you're just kind of playing out a scripted story, a novel if you will, where you're just being told what to do, where to go the whole time. And that is kind of traditional for a lot of shooters out there, but I guess for me personally, I like something with a little bit more creative freedom in how I approach objectives, and this was just a tiny bit too scripted for me. Now this time around, DICE has actually linked some of the multiplayer weapon unlocks to the single player game. Certainly you can just play the multiplayer and you don't have to bother with single player if you're not interested, but there are going to be a few guns like the M249, the P90, and a few others that you're only going to be able to unlock in the single player version of this game. Uh, for the multiplayer aspect. Overall, I think the single player campaign is definitely worth at least one playthrough, even if you only bought the game for multiplayer. Xbox players out there, Xbox One players out there are going to get an excellent platform to play Battlefield on. The graphics are simply stunning on the console, and uh, the multiplayer aspect of it is going to be excellent as well. So, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, I'm going to have some exclusive PlayStation 4 footage coming along as well. And uh, I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.